This flag can be often spotted at protests, celebrations, and even at football games across North Africa. But it doesn't belong to any one country, region, or organization. This is the flag of the Amazigh people, and it's a symbol of pride for many in North Africa. So who are the Amazigh? They are the indigenous people of North Africa who have lived in the region for thousands of years. Most of them live between the Siwa Oasis in the eastern outskirts of Egypt and the Canary Islands to the west in the Atlantic Ocean, and from the Mediterranean to the Sahara in the south. Their flag was adopted in 1997 by the Amazigh Congress, a body established to defend their rights, and it symbolizes unity and cultural renaissance. The blue is the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. The green is Tamazight, the land they come from. And the yellow is for the desert. The red Yaz symbolizes a free man, which is also the meaning of the word Amazigh. Even though North Africa is regarded as predominantly Arab, more than 30 million Amazigh live across the region, and they face a number of challenges. The Amazigh people are commonly referred to as Berber, but they reject the reference as it has over the years been associated with the word barbaric. In Morocco and Algeria, nearly one third of the populations speaks one of the Amazigh languages. Tamazigh was the main language of North Africa before the Muslim conquest in the 7th century brought Arabic to the region. But for decades, the Amazigh have been demanding official recognition of their language. In 2011, Morocco recognized it as an official language. Five years later, Algeria did too. Both countries have also recently started teaching Tamazigh at public schools. These changes marked an ease in tensions between the Amazigh and their respective governments, but the Amazigh struggle goes beyond language. After the independence of the Maghreb countries, the Amazigh identity has been controversial, sparking heated political debate and protests. Kibayli activists blame Algerian authorities for their marginalization since the country's independence from France in 1962. They also blame the government for imposing Arabization as a step towards eradicating their linguistic and cultural traditions. In April 1980, Algerian authorities prevented novelist Mouloud Mameri from lecturing about Amazigh's language and heritage in the University of Tiziwuzu. This led to protests in which dozens were injured by security forces. Every year on April 20th, Amazigh in Algeria take to the streets to mark the Amazigh Spring, demanding self-determination for the Amazigh community. This was repeated in 2001 when a student was killed under police custody, resulting in huge riots and a violent police crackdown that left more than 120 people dead in what is known as the Amazigh Black Spring in the Kibayli region. Nous sommes un peuple et nous existons. Nous devrons aussi exister officiellement. On en a marre de l'ostracisme. But the Algerian government has shown more flexibility in dealing with the Amazigh in recent years. In 2018, Algeria declared the Amazigh New Year as a public holiday. The government has also shared official communications in both Arabic and Tamazigh for the first time in 2018. In Morocco, a growing number of Amazigh are taken to the streets in the Rif region, which is home to most of the community. In October 2016, Protests began after a fishmonger was crushed to death in the town of El Husima by government workers. The protests developed into a movement calling for economic justice in the underdeveloped region. The movement was also supported by the Amazigh diaspora, who organized demonstrations to call for the release of hundreds of activists arrested by Moroccan authorities. In Libya, Tunisia, and Egypt, the Amazigh communities are still struggling for language recognition and cultural rights. Despite the challenges, the indigenous Amazigh have remained an unyielding community, and their vibrant culture continues to live on across the region.